she gave more. I don't, I don't even think she even knew she was Whitney Houston like that. She just was such a giver. And she was a real friend and a, I mean, and a real <laughs> one of us. A real one. <laughs> a real one. Hey guys, I'm Angie Martinez, and this is iHeartRadio's The Box with Mary J. Blige. Hey! Hi, baby! This Hi! Is, this is The Box. Are you excited? Um, yeah. Are you nervous? <laughs> don't be nervous. It's gonna be. I, 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 I don't know what's in it, and um, well, that's the point. I'm skeptic. You know, I'm a skeptic. I'm like, oh boy, what's this? Nobody's gonna pop out. <laughs> <laughs> There's not, 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 nothing's gonna hurt you in here. This is a box uh, where there's some surprises. We're gonna pull one thing out at a time, and there's no right or wrong answer. We're just curious about what you feel about uh -huh. it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> She's so skeptical. <laughs> one of them games. It's me, man. It's, it's a Capricorn thing. You are the same way. You're right, I am the same way. I mean, like, <laughs> Side-eyeing everybody. I think everything in here is gonna make you, is gonna be, bring hopefully a good memory for you. Okay. So let's do it. Uh -uh. Okay, so we're gonna pull out an item from a box. They represent different moments in your personal life and in your musical journey. And we're gonna hear some stories. You ready? You wanna take it or you want me to do it? That's the first thing. Show the audience so they can see. Wow. <laughs> You can put it over there. Well, what does that make you feel like? Well, is th this is my little baby. This is my little Mary. This, this is my baby right here. For real. Yeah. This, this is it. <laughs> it started everything. Every time I see this um, album cover, I automatically think of the original version to Love No Limit. Yes. And the video. Like, yes. I, I, I don't know why I just go to that. That takes you to the time. Yeah. I was, a, I was an intern at the radio station. Well, I was, I was working there. I was working in the office in the back. And I used to play Love No Limit on repeat. Yeah. Over and over. Yeah, the jazz so, version is so fly. It's so fire. Oh, man. The remix is hot, too. But I'm that's... sure everybody in this room has a, has a memory connected to that uh, album. I, listen, I'm, I'm, I know. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I know. All right, go to something else. Just grab anything. Don't look too much. No. Just grab something. Don't cheat. Play video one. Play video one. Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a fun day. That was a good day? <laughs> that was exciting. I mean, just being in a video with Meth because I had, I still to this day, one of the biggest Wu-Tang Clan fans ever. <laughs> and back then I was just a huge, not a groupie, just a straight fan because I'm a hip hop head. And Meth is like, what, like ended up being one of my favorite people. Like I, I met them, all of them, when we did this song, and they was just beautiful people. And when we did the video, it was like, oh man, we family now. So did you know it was, was going to be a classic? Did you feel it in that moment? I didn't know really. I re I didn't know. I knew what I knew. What we did was hot. But you just never know if people are gonna, you know, yeah. you never know what people, what's gonna get through to people. Mm -hmm. But I knew we loved it. I knew we was just, you know, this was what we did. That little yeah. head nod, that head <laughs> pop is legendary. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got. Go ahead, you do it. Oh, shit, okay. The documentary, uh, Amazon documentary, My Life. Man, this is a um, historical moment. <laughs> historical moment. I, um, it was just amazing. My favorite part in this was just to hear the testimonies of the fans and what the My Life album did for them and just what, what their stories were and, and how some women were on drugs and how some women didn't know how to tell the truth. And one woman was like, I didn't know I could just tell the truth like Mary. I was like, you know, watching this thing like, wow, you just never know what people are going through. And then one woman was like, my baby would kick, you know, when I play the music, you know, it, it was the stories were amazing. So the documentary, it just, it, it, it means so much to me. Mm -hmm. I let a lot go. I spoke, you know, candid, you know, you know I'm always talk. Yeah. But that was the most special part for me is, mm -hmm. is just hearing what the album did to the fans and, you know, for the fans and how it helped a lot of people to get through and, 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 and to just be themselves. There was one guy, he was like, he was being you know, teased because, you know, he was gay. And he said this, you know, the My Life album helped him to free himself. Mm. I said, oh, shit. I said, well, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do out here, you know? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Word. 
Take that, take that. Take that, take that. Take that, take that. Take that, take that. <laughs> this is beautiful. What this is it? Does it make you think of anything? Or anybody? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I mean, <laughs> it's a beautiful crown. Mm-hmm. And no, I, we can't hey, mess up her hair. Don't get crazy. I, I, <laughs> no, I got a ponytail. <laughs> But this is just, it's just a beautiful, it's just, it's a beautiful crown and I'm grateful. Do you? I'm grateful. <laughs> do you? Yeah, he, they say you're a queen. Thank you. Is that something you always Thank think you. about? Like, huh? Just the, your queenness. Is that something you think about or that you feel like you have to walk in or you just let, it's something that people just put on you? Um, I, 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 I have to walk in it now. I never really did, mm-hmm. but I have to walk in it now because it is what it is, and it's been so many years, and if I don't walk in it, like, I'm a fool, you know? Mm-hmm. I'm a fool to not receive who I, who I am, who God made me to be, obviously, because it, this is, it, it could have, like I said, it could have been over, you know? I could, I could be dead or I could be finished, but I'm walking in it because, obviously, I'm it, I'm it you know? <laughs> That's yeah. I, I'm, I'm it. <laughs> who, who, I think I know the answer to this, but who was the first person to call you the queen of hip hop soul? It was Andre and Puff? Andre and Puffy um, was the first to call me the queen of hip hop soul because they believed me to be that, so they dubbed me that, and they put it on all these T-shirts, and the fans said yes too. So, and that was on what's the four one one, and I, I definitely didn't know I was the queen then. I was like, oh man, this, I'm just going through life. I'm just getting oh queen of hip hop soul, whatever that means. It means it didn't mean nothing then, but now it means everything. Yeah. It, it, you know, yeah. You lived up to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. still living. Lived up yeah, to it. beautiful. Here, I'll help you. Here, what's this? Oh snap. Wow. Aww. I had a ball learning how to shoot those guns and shoot those people. And <laughs> like, I, I, I learned how to shoot almost every gun there is. <laughs> for, for, and I learned how to, uh, I learned martial arts for this. I had a good time. My partner Cameron is the, is the shit. Um, I love him. See somewhere out here in LA. And just, we had a good time on Umbrella Academy. Like we was in, uh, we was in Toronto, Canada for five months and you, you know how you get to know people, and then it turns into party time. <laughs> Whose house the party's gonna be at this weekend? Okay, we off this, like, it just turned into party time, then work. <laughs> so you gotta, you gotta have a good time when you work. You, you, you can't, everything just can't be like, oh, you, you got to enjoy, you know, your yeah, life. Fun. And that's what I, I was doing. I was enjoying my life and mm. working hard on that. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, okay. First thing coming to my mind on this. Show was them. this is um the Hollywood Walk of Fame, but I'm gonna tell y'all what come to my mind. I hated my fucking hair on this picture. <laughs> <laughs> I was so mad. I was like, how the fuck I'm gonna have my hair looking like this on the day? What what was I thinking? But I know what was going on. I was I think I was I think I was still married during this. No no I don't. That's probably why my hair looked like this. <laughs> I think I'm not sure. But I don't th- think so. I think maybe you were just fresh out though. You something still, was you going had some on. Residue something was going on. It was that, but but I was like, damn, missed that one. But it's okay. But it was a good day. Though. It was a good day. It was a great day. <laughs> I was like, I was like, what's this ice cream cone shit on my head? I was very upset about that. Here's something for you. P- play video two. <laughs> Um, that was a beautiful woman. She, she gave more. She, I, I don't even think she even knew she was Whitney Houston like that. She just was such a giver, and she was a real friend. And a, I mean, and a real <laughs> one of us. A real one. <laughs> a real one. And to perform with her, that was my second Divas Live with her. Mm-hmm. First Divas Live, she called me. We had all the red on on the first Divas mm-hmm. Live, and the second one, I called her, and she came. She was, a, she was a G, like she was a beautiful person. I miss, I miss. Some people just ain't supposed to be here that long because she was an angel, I believe, yeah. truly angel. And that voice. And there would never be another, like, never be another vocal like that, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, here's one. Oh, Mudbound. 
Okay. <laughs> what do I think about when what, I... What comes to your mind? What comes to my mind? Okay, p- people think I'm thinking about the Oscars, but I'm thinking about how I was looking. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, before I got into this character, and they had to come take those continuity pictures, and they was floating around talking about, oh, it looks beautiful, and I saw that picture. And <laughs> I broke down and cried. I was like, oh, I'm finished. I'm this is... <laughs> Every time I see this shit. Ooh, child, them shoes, and them shoes she had to wear was like these hard boots. When I got on the trailer and I saw those boots, I had my sister Nicole with me, and she kept, she had me out laughing until I was crying. Nicole said, who boots that? <laughs> Anyway, you know how Mary we earned this. <laughs> well, we see that and we think of Academy Award nomination, Man. Or Oscars. We save the best for last in the box. Oh, she. <laughs> wow, I, I, I'm just so proud of her. I'm proud of her, and I'm proud of her. She's, 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 she's different. She, she a different Mary J. Blige. She's, she's strong, and she is not fucking around. She's my French out here. She's not playing around out here. It, it, it's real. She giving love. She's showing love to herself, so she's able to give it to others. Um, she working hard, harder than she's ever worked in her life, and on, on everything, so... And she earned, earned everything. She gave every, everything. And this is for you. This is for everybody. Thank there you. There it is. The box. And this album is phenomenal. And it's Thank out right you. now. Everybody get Good Morning Gorgeous. It's the new album. And Mary- This is not the cover, though. This is the Good Morning Gorgeous single cover. Okay. It doesn't matter, though. It's all still It's the, the single off yeah. of the album, yeah, which the, is available now for yes, everybody. The single... <laughs> I'm trying to promote your. Album, I love it, Angie. Mary. Come on, trying to promote. Listen, do your thing. You're okay. so amazing at this. I'm, I'm, look, I'm, I'm a clown at this. Oh, this is not the. Um, <laughs> this is. <laughs> this is the single artwork, but the album artwork is available on the album, which is out now, everybody. <laughs> and you have to listen to it, and you can listen to it on iHeartRadio or the iHeartRadio okay. app. Uh, and thank you, Mary, for sharing all of those amazing stories and for. Thank you all for listening. They was, they was there. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank y'all so much. It was fun. Yeah, that was fun. Lots and lots of fun. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye, guys.